Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and first impressions video of the brand new Google Pixel tablet. I here have the base 128GB version in porcelain color and it costs £599 here in the UK which is significantly more expensive than what it costs in America which is $499. You get this really neatly presented box. So let's get unboxing. Inside the box, we first have the tablet, then the paperwork, then the dock and the power adapter. Let's unwrap the dock first. Wow, feels nice, but I expected this to be slightly bigger. Tablet next. And that's everything what you get inside the box. Now, let's take a closer look at the tablet first. It feels nicely built and is made of plastic. So it's not the premium aluminum construction of the iPads, but it still feels very solid and light. The tablet weighs in at 493 grams. The front is dominated by this 11 inch touchscreen display with this widescreen aspect ratio. And it's got an 8 million pixel camera towards the landscape view of the tablet. At the back, you have the Google logo along with the pin connector for the dock. Then you have another 8 million pixels camera towards the top. Towards one side, you have the dual speaker cutouts and the USB port for charging. Towards the other side, you've got another dual set of speaker cutout along with a cutout for microphone. Then towards the bottom, you can call that the bottom if you consider the front camera side as the top, then you've got two plastic strips guess they are to protect the tablet from scratching at the bottom when you put it on the dock. Then towards the other side, you have volume rocker and power button, which has got the fingerprint scanner embedded in it. Now, like I mentioned, this shade which I have is called porcelain and you also can get this in a darker hazel shade. And for those in America, you get an additional rose shade as well. Seems like Americans get a better bargain in every way compared to us guys in the UK. Next, the dock. Again, nicely made in matching color. The pad where the tablet sticks is nice and rubbery with the pin connector in place. The back has got the Google logo embossed and the hole for the power adapter. The entire thing is wrapped in this nice speaker mesh and the bottom has got nice rubbery texture so it'll stay sturdy when you place it on a surface. Now, Let's turn the tablet on, just press and hold the power button and it springs to life. Let's set it up quickly. The setup process is simple, especially if you already have a Google account. So you can sync everything like bookmarks, passwords and your apps as well. Like mentioned, the tablet has got the fingerprint sensor built into the power button and you can scan your finger following the instructions to set up your fingerprint authentication. So we are all set and the tablet is ready. Let's quickly take it for a spin. First impressions, it feels very responsive. The animations feel smooth and lag free and everything feels decently fast. A tablet is running Android version 11 and it's got this nice minimal aesthetic to it. The touchscreen feels very responsive and decently fast. The screen is an LCD panel supporting 2560 by 1600 pixels resolution at 276 ppi and it really makes it a very sharp display. Colors are vibrant and the contrast is decent. You have this nice widescreen aspect ratio and watching content on this device is pretty neat and immersive. The widescreen aspect ratio also means that you get smaller black borders when watching movies or videos. The tablet has got four inbuilt speakers, two on each side to provide stereophonic sound and they do sound pretty decent. Here's a sample with just music first. And then with vocals. Here is the most powerful iPad money can buy, the M2 iPad Pro. I'm upgrading from the A12Z iPad Pro 2020 version but you can totally blow this sound up to next level by just connecting it to the dock, which we'll check in a moment. So do stick around. And up till now, if you're enjoying my video, guys, please hit that like button. So YouTube algorithm will push my content to more viewers out there. 
Both the front and back cameras are more than adequate for a tablet. The front 8 million pixels camera has an f2.0 aperture and 84 degrees field of view. Very decent for video calls. And the rear is exactly the same 8 million pixel sensor and it is really decent for a tablet. The camera also supports some of Google's cooler features like magic eraser, photo unblur and panorama. Video recording on both the cameras is capped at 1080p 30fps. Performance wise there is Google's latest Tensor G2 chip inside along with Titan M2 security co-processor. There is 8 gigs of DDR5 RAM as well and all of this keeps things nice and fast. I've briefly tried gaming as well and it works smoothly but I will post a detailed review soon so please subscribe to my channel guys and turn on the notifications bell so you'll get notified as soon as that video goes live. I also post regular updates on Instagram so please find me there as well. Let's move on to the speaker dock now. Your Pixel tablet magnetically attaches to the dock and it charges that way too. The magnetic connection is quite strong and it holds your tablet in this float position. The only thing is I was expecting it to be a little more higher but yeah it sits slightly lower towards the surface. Obviously you can charge your tablet via USB-C charger as well but that is not included in the box so you need to buy one or use one if you already have a Google phone. Now connected to the dock your tablet gets into this dock mode where it gives you options to customize what you want choosing from a gallery of pictures, weather, date, time, etc. And it displays like how it does on a home hub. And yes, the internal speakers of the dock now are connected to the tablet. So you can use that to listen music or watch content. And here is how it sounds. First, just the music. And then with vocals as well. I have two favorites here. The first one has to be Anchor Maggo 622 portable wireless charger. I featured this in many videos guys. Now it sounds pretty awesome. It's loud enough to fill a decent sized room. The sound quality is very impressive with the right amount of bass and it doesn't get distorted even at higher volume levels. You can start watching a video on the tablet and just connect it to the dock. The speaker just automatically switches to the dock from the tablet and it plays audio via that. So that's the first look of the Google Pixel tablet guys. I'll cover more details including full productivity use case scenario using this tablet very soon. So please do subscribe, support my channel so I can keep making these videos for you. And as always, thanks a lot for staying with me until the end. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.